Hello everyone, my name is Julia and I'm here today to do a video, it's my third video in my instalment series about the Osho Zen tarot cards. So I realised really that I haven't even explained who Osho is properly um, for people. It says at the, the back of the guidebook that Osho has been described by the Sunday Times in London as one of the thousand makers of the 20th century and by American author Tom Robbins as the most dangerous man since Jesus Christ. So he said about his own work that he's been helping to try and create the conditions for the birth of a new kind of human being. He's often characterised this new human being as Zorba, the Buddha, capable both of enjoying the earthly pleasures of Azorba, the Greek, and the silent serenity of Buddha. And running like a thread through all aspects of Osho's work is a vision that encompasses both the timeless wisdom of the East and the highest potential of Western science and technology. He's really well known, actually, for his contribution towards the science, actually, of meditation. Um, yeah. I think there's a, a resort somewhere where you can go and experience Osho's design for life, I guess. Anyway, Zen Buddha, Buddhism is, is beautiful. In the back of the book, there's a little message here. The Zen attitude towards life is that of laughter, of living, of enjoying, of celebrating. Zen is not anti-life, it is life affirmative. It accepts all that is. So that's lovely. So I'm going to shuffle these cards and pull one card and we'll have a look at that. And I think about that. See what the energy of that card feels like. And have a look at the, the guidebook to see what Osho's interpretation of that card is. So. And we have clinging to the past. And you can see that card, clinging to the past. And from the blue triangle at the bottom, I would say that's a cups card. Or in this deck, that would be a water card, which is mastery of emotions. And that's number five. In the tarot deck, the five of cups is the in the Rider Waite deck is the card of the man walking away and leaving the cups that are tipped over and kind of not noticing the cups that are still standing. It's like not not seeing not seeing the opportunity to process um, something difficult in a different way. Um, yeah, so in this card we can see a person here that, I mean it says clinging on to the past and it's like, it's like when we say we're going to put things away in a box in our head and it's like this person has done that to such a degree that her head has become a box and it just looks crammed full of everything that she's repressed or hidden or stuffed away. And it's it's become something so solid that she can't actually see what's in front of her. She can't see the reality of her world anymore. can't see all the twinkly 
twinkly stars, all the hopes and wishes and dreams, all the things that are out there. Let's have a look what Osho has said in the book about this card. So, 106. The figure pictured in this card is so preoccupied with clutching her box of memories that she's turned her back on the sparkling champagne glass of blessings available here and now. It's like all the stars, isn't it? Her nostalgia for the past really makes her a blockhead and a beggar besides, as we can see from the patched and ragged clothes. She needn't be a beggar, of course, but she is not available to taste the pleasures that offer themselves in the present. He says here is no longer the past. If you don't cling to the past, because clinging to the past is absolute stupidity, it's no longer there. So you're crying for st spilt milk, which is exactly what's going on in the Ride Away cards, isn't it? There's kind of a crying over spilt milk energy, the walking away and leaving things that are painful. What's gone is gone. Don't cling to the present because that is also going and soon will be past. Don't cling to the future, hopes, imaginations, plans for tomorrow, because tomorrow will become today and will become yesterday. Everything is going to become yesterday. Everything is going to go out of your hands. Clinging will simply create misery. You will have to let go. And he says it's time to face up to the fact that the past is gone. And any effort to repeat it is a sure way to stay stuck in old blueprints that you would have already outgrown if you hadn't been so busy clinging to what you have already been through. Take a deep breath and put the box down. Tie it up in a pretty ribbon if you must and bid it a fond and reverent farewell. Life is passing you by and you're not seeing or feeling any of it. That's a very powerful message, isn't it? And a very common theme to all of us. We all have things that we've repressed, we all have things that we haven't processed fully, things that have happened to us in our lives, from sometimes even the smallest of traumas to really quite awful things sometimes that happen to people. And we stuff them and we repress them and we try to forget about them. And also the same can be said with good memories of nostalgic memories of the past. Where we're constantly looking back, always thinking that something was better, feeling like we're missing out. Anything that keeps us stuck or trapped in the past is not going to allow us to see what's actually here and real now. Or shows right. And to put yourself in the future all the time is just a sure path to anxiety. It's something that I'm guilty of a lot. I think I spend a lot more of my time in the future than I do the past. And it brings me a lot of anxiety. So... The message of this card, the message of this video is be present and be mindful and be in the moment. Otherwise life will pass you by. I hope to see you again. Thank you.